When I was a child, I went to the dermatologist quite frequently because I had, I had really bad acne and, you know, they would, uh, they would, they would sit you down on the bed and the bed chair thing sort of recline you and, you know, they'll poke at you with this, you know, just poke, poke with this uh, little metal hoop thing and it just, and it hurt. It hurt pretty badly and, you you know, you'd sit there and you'd be bleeding and I remember the nurses would say like, oh, you're quite a bleeder. You're quite a bleeding, as if this was something I was going to take as a compliment. Like, oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I've worked hard on that. They would, you know, poke you with this loop and, you know, sit there and you, and you bleed and they'd, you know, patch you up. I think they put little creams on you, little, little, uh, little tissues, you know, sort of plug you up, make sure you didn't bleed all over the place. And But then they'd, they'd put you under a lamp. They'd put you under this lamp like you were some kind of plant specimen or some kind of burger they were trying to keep warm. And they would put you under this lamp and they just walk out of the room they just walk they just walk right out of the room you know you're sitting there there's, there's this bloody disgusting pin cushiony mess and they walk right out of the room and they would just leave me there and you know you're under this lamp and you see kind of they cut I think you're not supposed to look at the light they I think they cover your eyes with some kind of cover with your eyes so your eyes aren't two little you know toasted marshmallows by the time they come back in but they just walk out of the room and I and you, you can't help you sitting there and your face is warm and you I, you know, I would have these fantasies, I would, I would think about, like, what if they don't come back? What if I'm just there, and I'm just in this room by myself, and they don't come back, and then I would think, okay, and then what if I get up and not just they didn't come back, but there's nobody? And I would think about that, I was like, what if nobody was there? What if I got up, and I walked out, and the receptionist isn't there? The people that were in the waiting room, you know, looking at the old people magazines weren't there. And you just walked out, and you walk out the building, and the guy at the front desk isn't there, and there's nobody in the parking lot. And then you walk out, and you keep walking, and that strip all down the street, there's nobody there. And there's just nobody there. And I would think that. And I just sit there thinking about what a world would be when you're just walking around and there's nobody. It's not even a dog. It's just empty. And when you think that under that lamp and then they do come back, things hurt a little less. Maybe you're glad to see your mom after that.